Hello basketball coaches and basketball players. My name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training and today I'm going to show you some 1-3-1 one, one basketball plays that are just simple screen and rolls that you can run against 2-3 zones, man-to-man -man defenses, and 3-2 zones. So hello everyone. If you're new to this channel, on this channel I show you basketball plays, drills, and skills. So if you like that stuff, hit the like button and subscribe. But anyways, today I'm going to show you some really easy basketball plays that are the 1-3-1 one offense that can be ran against pretty much any defense that you're going to go up against. So let's get down to the clipboard and let's check out these plays. Okay, so here we have against the man-to-man -man, something very, very ridiculously simple. What we are going to do is have just player four setting a screen for player one, and then from there player one is going to use that screen. Now what's going to happen is if player four hedges, player four needs to roll, player four red hedges, player four blue needs to roll towards the basket, that way he should be open. Now if player five red was to help play help defense, it's going to be a pass to player five for the layup. Or if player 4 does not hedge and player 4 blue stays up top to either pop or just holds the screen, player 1 needs to take that 3 point shot. This is a very quick hitter that you can run. Now let's check this out against the 2-3 zone. So against the 2-3 zone what it's going to look like is player 3 is going to be popping down to that low corner. Player 4 is going to be setting a screen on player 1. That way player 3 red has to pop up. And when he does, either player 1 could hit the 3 point shot before player 3 gets up there. Player 4 would then be rolling towards the basket. And from there player 1 could pass to player 4 for the layup or the assist out to player 3. Or player 1 could just pass to player 3 blue for the 3 point shot as well. Now against the 3-2, same idea, screen and roll. What we're wanting right here is, because player 3 red is going to be popping up to play defense on player 1 blue, player 4 has to roll towards the basket, player 3 needs to drift, and from there we're going to have the defense collapse. That might leave player 5 open or player 3 open at the 3-point line out in the wing and we can get some nice easy shots now this next screen and roll is going to be an STS play a screen the screener play basically player 4 is going to pop out and set a screen against player 2 of course this is against a man-to-man -man defense player 2 is then going to go and set a screen on player 1 meanwhile we're gonna have player 4 popping out to the three-point line and then we're going to have player 2 obviously trying to play catch up. Player 1 is going to use that screen. Player 2 might just pop out because both of these players are guards. And so this might be a switch. And if that is, we're going to have player 2 wide open in the middle of the key. Again, same as the other plays. This is going to be opening up player 5 for a layup as well. Now against a 2-3 zone, this is going to be working just a bit differently. What we are going to have is player 4 moving over and setting a screen on player 4 red. At the same time, we're going to be having player 2 screening for player 2 red. And player 1 is going to be now wide open for that shot. Or what you could do is have player 1 drive towards the rim, which would then bring player 5 out. And that would leave player 5 blue in the Russian spot, which is, if you haven't seen that video... The Russian spot is here. If you want to see what the Russian video is or the Russian spot video is, just go search it on my channel. Uh, basically, it's explaining the origins of why that's called the Russian spot. But anyways, uh, from there, that would just be a quick, easy pass down to player 5 for the layup. So against the 3-2 zone defense, this is going to be, of course, a screen over for player 2 blue. Player 2 blue is then going to set a screen for player 1. And here, what we're wanting is for these screens to be strong so that player 1 can then pop through and get a mid-range shot from this area. Or what could happen is player 3 blue could then pop down to this corner, hoping for player 4 or 5 to pop out and guard player 1 blue, in which case player 5 may be open, or player 3 might be open cutting back door along the baseline for a nice easy layup. Now this third play is not necessarily a screen and roll play. What we are looking for here is player 2 going in, setting a screen for player 4. Player 4 is going to be popping out to the wing, which he may be open for a 3-point shot. 
Now what we're looking for after this screen is for player 5 to go and set a screen across. Of course, this is against a man-to-man -man defense. This is going to be a back screen on player 3. And once player 2 gets through that screen, he needs to then pop back out to the either the 3-point line or just the other side of the key because now we're looking at player 3 popping down. This is going to be maybe not a switch. Player 3 is going to be using player 3 or player 5 at blue as a screen. He's going to be cutting down. He may be open for the layup. Now, where the screen and roll will happen in this play, at least against the man-to-man -man defense, is player 5 red might just go down and guard player 3 in the post, in which case player 5 now can roll off and this will be a layup for player 5. But one of these two players will be open. Now against a 2-3 zone defense against with, with this offense, what we are looking to do is have player 3, he is going to be going down and he will be setting a screen either for player 5 if player 4 wants to get it in the high post. But what I prefer is for player 3 to set a screen for player 1 because player 1's area is this area. We're going to have player 4 pop out. He may be open. That's going to bring player 4 red up as well. And from there, if you want, this is this is what's so good about this one single play. That's going to bring player 5 red over to player 5. This is where the screen and roll happens here. What we're looking for here is for player 3 to roll towards the basket. And because of that, he's going to be wide open. Because player 5 is going to initially be guarding player 5 blue in the post. Player 3 is going to get that ball. This is going to be help defense. And that's going to be a layup for player 5. Now, in this play, we are, we are going to be going up against a 3-2 defense as well, but instead, what we are looking for is player 3, because player 2 will be most likely guarding some kind of player 3 over here. And what we are looking for is player 3 to set a screen on top of player 2, which will allow player 4 to pop out. And that's going to have player 2 fight through, so that player 4 is guarded. When player 2 fights through, what we want is now player 3 to be rolling towards the basket and player 4 is going to hit up player 3 with a, an easy mid-range shot or possibly an assist through player 5. And now our fourth and final play. I don't know if I said I was going to do five plays here. I might have made a mistake. I am actually doing four plays. But basically we're going to have player two and player four setting a double screen. This is again against a man-to-man -man defense here against player one. Player one is going to use that screen. And we're going to have player four. He is going to go and roll towards the basket. If player 4 is not open when he's rolling towards the basket, let's say player 4 red is staying on him, he is going to go and set a screen to the opposite man, player 5, who is going to use that screen, and he's going to get a quick, easy mid-range or a low post shot. Unless player 1 gets an open shot himself, he may just take that open 3-point or mid-range shot. Now let's do the same thing against a 2-3 zone. Again, screen over here. Player 1 is going to be most likely open unless player 3 rolls or plays help defense or goes up to the top of his zone. Player 4 is then going to roll towards the basket. That's a lot going to allow him to be open, but player 5 is going to guard him pretty quickly. Now if player 5 blue can seal player 4, he has an opening to the rim. This is going to be a nice easy layup for player 5. Now against a 3-2 zone defense, same idea except player 3 is going to be still guarding his area. What we are looking for, this is going to be very, very tight. Player 3 is going to be right up on him. We want player 4 to be rolling down towards the rim. Because the whole 3-2 defense is very weak when it comes to the middle of the key, if player 5 conceals man, that's an easy basket. Obviously, player 5 red is going to be popping up on him. But what we also want, player 2 is going to be on a, on a couple of second delay when he rolls. He's going to roll across. He's going to find that opening in the court over here, and that's going to allow him to score either an easy layup or an easy shot from that mid-range area because player 5 red, he does guard this whole area, but because player 4 is closer to the rim, he's not going to be able to guard player 2 right away. That's player 3's zone at, in this case at that time. And player 3 is already guarding player 1 who initially had that screen. 
so player two is going to be wide open in this wing if player three sees that happening before that actually comes through player four could also pass the player one for the three-point shot as well now i hope that you have enjoyed these four basketball plays if you have hit that like button subscribe let us know in the comments below what you think and if you have changed anything in these plays anyways i hope that you have enjoyed i do post new videos every single day so i'll see you guys again tomorrow hey basketball coaches so basically my defense book it's a defense that is created by myself and tested by many, many different teams. Everyone loves it. As far as I know, everything I have gotten back is great news. Basically, everything from the free throw line and under is a double team. Everything up top is single coverage. If you want to check out this book, go to the link below. It is called The Unbeatable Basketball Defense. Hello, so if you have liked this video, click over here to subscribe or maybe over here, depending on which side I put it on. I don't know yet. Anyways, uh, also the opposite direction or the opposite side is another video you may like. So I hope to see you again in one of those next videos. Yeah.